Goodness me, what on earth is this? <laughs> I'm Dave and this is Logan out once again for a walk in the New Forest. Thanks for joining us. Now today we're at a place called Linford which is about two and a half miles to the northeast of Ringwood in Hampshire and we're going to be doing a, a roughly five mile circular route to the north of here. Uh, hopefully going to come across some beautiful heathland with uh, the purple heather out in full bloom at the moment. Going to go through some really ancient woodland and with a bit of luck, we're going to come across a, an, an old Iron Age hill fort. It's a bit difficult to find, but we'll see how it goes. And who knows, we might come across some other interesting things along the way. Now, as you can probably see, I'm squinting in the sun. It's a glorious morning. It's uh, early September. Bit of dew on the ground, but uh, it's going to warm up later on. Perfect conditions for going for a walk. Are we ready? He's already had a few blackberries. Let's go. Well, I've parked my car at the Forestry Commission car park at Linford Bottom. Before I start the walk properly, as it were, I'm going to make a tiny little detour to the south. Well, I want to show you a very sweet little cottage. And it's just behind me, uh, or just in front of me, should I say, here in front of some woods. Now, the reason I want to show it to you is a couple of months ago, I came across an old black and white photograph of the internet and I've got it down here now I'm not going to sure if you're going to be able to see this okay I will put a copy up on screen it's a photograph taken in the winter of 1940 stroke 1941 probably January I reckon um, so while the second world war was on and there's a little track here and there's some artillery troops here preparing their I think their six inch 2600 weight howitzers but what's fascinating about the picture, top left hand corner, there is this cottage. So I thought it would be quite good fun to see if I could come back 80 years later and recreate the same photograph, obviously without the, uh, the howitzers. But it hasn't changed at all, has it really? The little outbuilding is still there on, on the right. And if I pan around, obviously the track has gone but you can still make out the uh, ditch that was running alongside the track, the little indentation there. But no, oh, I thought I'd start off, we'll have a little bit of fun to start off with. It's nice to come back here, say 80 years later, it's a little bit quieter now. Well, it really is a glorious morning. One of those days that really feels good to be alive. <laughs> Right, so we've just left the car park on my right and if I turn around, we, initially we're going to start heading uh, sort of north, northwest. And this is the great Linford enclosure ahead of us, established in 1848, it's about 80 hectares. But um, we're not actually going to go in there, we're going to follow this little track that goes alongside it. take you long to find the blackberries did it <laughs> they did look there's one there look there oh oh daddy will pick it off or try to there yeah I think you can do this yourself but I will give you a hand <laughs> what's that one any more they're not very big though are they oh quickly grab one more yeah. Well, if any folk are following the uh, video to do the walk afterwards, uh, we've just passed a, or going down a track marked Waterslade Farm and going to head northeast. It really is 
so pretty around here that just this um it's not a hedge but a row of bushes been watching some deer playing peekaboo with us i think they were some fallow deer but i have just spotted down here some boundary stones which uh as regular viewers will know i always get excited about <laughs> Well, the thing about these stones is they don't appear on a current ordnance survey map. Um, further to the south of here, the other side of Ringwood, um, they do, but there's about three or four of these pairs. They do appear on very old maps, and I'm guessing this must be the old uh, New Forest boundary. Why there are two of them and they appear in pairs, I don't know. Oh, I, I do love this time of year when the heather is out in all of its glory with the purple showing off in the uh, morning sunshine. It really is quite exquisite. A sign though, of course, that summer is nearly over. get some cracking views from up here in the far distance on my left I can just make out the hills of Dorset and then further around Wiltshire in the very very far distance and then this little bit of uh, area in front of me here that is uh, Rockford Common which is National Trust and then to the right is the Red Chute Plain but we're now going to start heading into some ancient woodland. Now, one of the great things about the, the new forest is the, the variety of scenery that you get. But I think, I think my favourite is very much the woodland, especially when you look at some of these um, lovely oak trees that go back centuries and could tell a few stories, I expect. And it really is so atmospheric in here with the sun glinting through the, uh, the canopies above, the odd new forest pony floating around and uh, Logan very much in his element in here, just keeping an eye on uh, squirrels. Speaking of which, where's he gone? Ah, there you are. Gosh, look at that uh, look at that tree that's been felled by the wind over there. Of course, even though it's dying, it's a home to hundreds, if not thousands of insects as it gradually gets absorbed back into the, the forest. The first of the fungi beginning to uh, come out now. Autumn definitely on its way. There's been so many um, acorns this year. I thought last year was a, a bumper harvest, but uh, I think this year it's just as good. Oh, I keep saying it's so pretty in here, but it really is. And look, there's some, uh, again, another thing that's done very well this year has been crab apples. I don't can't recall seeing quite so many before. There's another tree that's uh, absolutely laden with them. We're about halfway round our walk and this is our one and only pub, the uh, Red Shoot. It used to be a, a shop at one stage in the past and uh, I think it became a pub in the 1960s. It's been a while since I've been in here but I know it used to have a, a little micro brewery at the back that you could uh, look through a little window. I don't know if it still has it. Goodness me, what on earth is this? <laughs> you know, for a moment I thought it was real. 
and then I saw its feet. You look a bit uh, unloved. Well, I nearly got fooled by that uh, owl. <laughs> I'm getting old. Right, we've been walking along a minor road from the uh, pub in an easterly direction. And I've got to a place called Annie's Corner and we're now going to follow a little track past well, it says Row Cottage. So we're going to go into the Row enclosure. at a very pivotal part of the walk especially we need to find the Iron Age hill fort so we've come into the row enclosure gone through a gate gone over a, a bridge and followed a cycle track and you need to look out for the first little crossroads of tracks on the cycle track after the bridge not the second one 800 yards further along to the east Oh, I should have listened to Logan, he, he got it right. Okay, so when you get to these crossroads, you turn right and we start heading into these woods here, basically starting our homeward journey heading south. We have some success. If you look on uh, a Nornant survey map, uh, the site of this Iron Age hill fort is, is clearly shown and it, it looks quite big, but it's, it's not easy to find. But the path does in fact cut through it. And here we are uh, with one of the um, banks on the left hand side. So it's an Iron Age hill fort, probably 700 BC to around AD 43. Four and a half acres, a circle, and there were ramparts all the way round. There was an external ditch, but it's almost completely been filled in. But this rampart here is probably the most um, prominent uh, part on the the eastern side and uh, the actual fort was on a west facing slope on a gravel spur but it lacks any significant natural defences it may well not have been uh, a, a sort of defensive structure uh, it's very easy to confuse this with the boundary bank that's just a few hundred yards further on but uh, it's a fairly wide structure, I would say, what, six or seven metres wide, maybe a couple of metres high, but uh, that's on the eastern side. But if you look on the western side, there's, um, well, you can hardly see any of the bank at all. So we've made our way out of the uh, Iron Age hill fort. I don't know where it gets the name Castle Peace from, because certainly there was never a castle here. But this here is the um, the boundary bank for the enclosure, which has still got the ditch on the left-hand side that would have been created when the enclosure was made in the 1800s. So left-hand side, it must be the row enclosure, and then right-hand side must be the Great Linford enclosure. Uh, here are the bracken just starting to uh, go a little bit brown now. Leaves are all still very green though. Looking forward to uh, getting out in the forest in six weeks time or so to capture some of those brown and golden colors. <laughs> now made our way out into a little open area and uh, this little stream here is called Linford Brook eventually makes its way into uh, the Lynn Brook and then into the Blashford Lakes and then um, well the River Avon and then out to the sea at uh, Christchurch so we're on the homeward stretch now we're going to follow this uh, well there's a path that goes back to the car park we'll have um, the uh, 
the woods on the right hand side and this little stream on our left hand side but I tell you what this is a lovely place to stop for a picnic I think yeah I think that's what we'll do so oh, a lovely little well, it was almost like a natural pond this is just on the side of the Great Linford enclosure there's a little island almost in the middle very pretty oh my goodness and looks like Logan's going to have a little dip as well cool off how far are you going to go in this time <laughs> looks nice and uh, clear the water anyway wow look at this isn't that quite stunning a sea of purple heather glinting in the sunshine and all the greens from the trees and the bracken a little piece of heaven it really is well folks we've come to the end of our walk we hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up and a like and do make a comment and please do subscribe if you haven't already done so that way hopefully you'll be able to join us for another walk sometime in the future but a terrific walk today lots of variety woodland heathland the odd owl or two <laughs> and the weather's been very kind to us again glorious sunshine and a, a nice little breeze to keep us cool we're just uh, finishing off here having a little picnic uh, precariously perched on a bank looking over the little Linford Brook so until we meet again thanks for watching and cheerio